I found that nothing in life is worth it unless you take risks. Nothing. My whole life, I was told to make sure you have something to count on, something to fall back on. I never understood that concept. It made no sense to me. I thought, if I'm gonna fall, I wanna fall forward. At least this way, I'm gonna figure out on time what I'm gonna hit. Fall forward. This is what I mean. Michael Jordan missed 26 important game winning shots. However, people remember the six championships he won. Fall forward. Thomas Edison did a thousand floor experiments to create light bulb. However, the thousand and one was the working light bulb. Fall forward. Every time I fell at something, I was a step closer to success. This applied for most of the areas in my life. Freshman year, I had no clue what was going on in the classroom. I couldn't understand the teachers, I couldn't read. I was doing horrible in most of my classes, and I was learning new knowledge while learning the language. At some point in my life, my brain was going crazy. I was a 15-year-old that had to learn how to become a man at a young age. It was a new world full of new experiences. On the other side, I had no minutes on the basketball court. In my head, I was like, it's fine. I'm not doing one that classroom. I'm gonna have a really good time at practice. Ding, 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 I was wrong. More surprises <laughs> in my life. I definitely was disappointed, but I was disappointed in myself. I was mad at myself because I wasn't fulfilling what I wanted to fulfill. I felt like I was letting myself and the people that sacrificed a part of them for me down. But here's the thing, I never quit. I didn't fall back. The next week, the next one. Rely on this practice of learning words in English. On the other side, I would try to practice a workout, study a place, learn how to play the game correctly somehow. Some days, time just wasn't enough to fulfill all my tasks. I was experiencing a new world of changes, not only in basketball, but in my life. I started to seek for answers, different ways and faster ways to figure out the answers. I guess if you play video games, you can call it the cheat code. <laughs> I prayed. I prayed for the answers, but I kept failing and failing. But it didn't matter, because there's an old saying that says, if you hang around the barber shop long enough, sooner or later, you're gonna get a haircut. <laughs> and I think I got a I learned the language to the point that I can write my own essays by myself without the Google, Google Translator. I went from a 3.7 to a 4.6 GPA. I also played more and more time on the basketball court. I started to get the answers and how to fit in my new reality, my new life. It started to feel like it was home. It started to feel like a part of me. The point I want to make is everyone has the power to succeed. If you decide to do something and you have enough discipline, I think you'll get it. The real question is, do you have the guts to accept failure? Winning may seem easy, but the real winners are learned how to find by how they bounce back from their failures. Failing is not the best. However, if you don't fail, you're not even trying. It took me 18 years to realize that sometimes failure is the best way to figure out where you're going. I don't feel my life has never been a straight line. I started dreaming of being a superhero when I was about 10. Then I wanted to become an athlete, and I did. Now I want to become a successful businessman, and I will. Adversity and failure made my life more fun because it motivated me to get up and figure out a solution. I found beauty in the pain. Every time life showed me some sort of adversity, I think he was testing me and preparing me for bigger things. All the failures during these four years of my high school career showed me that taking risks is not just about moving to a new country, learning a new language, or making new friends. It's about being ready for big risks because they come with big opportunities and bigger rewards. It's also about being open-minded and open to people, open to new beliefs, new cultures. The answers I used to pray for came to me, and the journey became more fun. Life still pushes me around all the time, but my attitude to life determines life attitude towards me. So I choose to smile to adversity, and instead of making it my enemy, I made it my friend. The last one I want to talk about is thankfulness. I think there is no better place or moment to thank every person that was part of the process, directly or indirectly. I wouldn't be here without the help of every single one of you guys. Thank you, teachers, for always pushing me not to be average, teaching me the basics and most complex details. Thank you, Coach Kitani, for being my biggest mentor these four years. Every time I practice, I learn something new on how to win the day, but more importantly, how to win in life. At the end of the day, you're going to have one. Finally, thank you, Coach, for
provide this amazing opportunity that I can share. It changed my life. Thank you. Shout out, uh, Adriana. Thank you for always helping me with everything that I needed. My time at Irish Bee was a lot easier since I got your help. All the little things you did for me, I won't forget. Treat your mouth. Make a lesson. Thank you for taking the challenge of having a person that you don't know at all and treat as your own child. I have never felt, I had felt at home since day one. It's hard to mention all the little things or big things. I would like to thank you guys for. I love you guys. You guys are my parents. Leave family. Thank you for every time I go to your house. Make me feel super welcome. And thank you for caring and worry about me through all this time. And I just, it was a really hard time, but thank you for always being there. I appreciate you, Mr. and Mrs. Lee. Mateo Alex Boom. Playing hide and seek was definitely one of my favorite memories until JT getting mad. Uh, I guess I always asked my mom for a brother, but life gave me that I love like we won for laps ago. JLBYDSBG MT, thank you for being my best friends. Every second we spend, I enjoy it. As I always say to you guys, the dinners and the time I spent playing FIFA at David Tess were some of my best memories and some of the best moments of my life. Like Master Matter says, uh, <laughs> nothing ever goes as fine this world, but I'm sure we're friends and brothers and it's in the end of it. The, the hashtag Red Moon Clan. <laughs> uh, basketball teams from 2019-2023, thank you for all the love and support on and off the court. I really love all, all our crazy practice and all the time we share. Wish the best for every single one of you guys this future. Always remember, you can count on me for anything. Being here today was possible because of each of you guys. Love you guys. Coach Corey and Manasa, thank you for all the extra time you put on me, all the little conversations, advice, running, extra time, just for make sure I knew everything. This wouldn't happen without you guys. Thank you guys. Coach Kitani, I will always remember you as a man that changed my life. You are one of my biggest teachers in the basketball court, and more importantly, life. Like I told you before, words can describe how thankful I am with you. And I always remember the daily lessons and crazy the true analogies and practice. And with you, I learned how to become a man, how to fish. But more importantly, how to keep seeking for perfection every day in everything I do in my life. Uh, aunt and grandma. I think my two biggest fans besides my mom. Thank you for always giving me cookies and make what I tell my mom. Thank you for taking care of me while mom is working hard. Thank you for being like a mom, like my mom during my whole life. Tell me, tell me. Cousin Daniel, it's crazy that you're here. Uh, I always feel like my big bro. When I was younger, I still do. I won't ever forget the fights we used to have, and I had a call on because you made me cry. Uncle, thank you for being my father. <laughs> you always make me feel like I had him. Ever since I got memory, You've been there for me and my mom. Now that I read my books, I understand some more about the things you used to talk about. And I just want to say I love you. Mom, thank you for being like good as a supporter. Thank you for being the best mom in the world. The only thing I can tell you right now is I love you with all my heart. And the journey is far from over. The stage one is almost completed. You're my biggest motivation and the person I love the most in the world. And don't worry about the future. I got this. Thing.